Okay, so today I'm gonna to be doing a short video on um, how I feed my pregnant English Bull Terrier. Um, she's gonna be getting ready to go into labor in the next two days. She's on day like 60, 63 or 62, so she's ready. Basically all I'm adding now is, so she feed, what I feed her uh, when she's not pregnant or not nursing is 100% raw diet. Um, just from doing my research um, and wanting to keep her full all the time, being able to leave food out for her. Before when I fed her raw, she would eat specific times. Now um, I'm giving her about a cup or a, a cup and a half, you know, every three hours, you know, like this big of that she's a little picky this is some good stuff um from instinct raw um so there's kibble in there but there's freeze freeze dried chicken so i've learned that so she doesn't pick it out what i'll do is i'll break it up right on top it just breaks right up it's just chicken it smells like you know un unflavored chicken like some um human grade beef jerky, shredded beef jerky, or chicken jerky I've had before myself. So, boom, I, I spread it out like that. So there's just not chunks of it. That's how big they are. Okay, so what I'm gonna be adding other than the kibble is this is beef liver. I'm gonna cut it up with some scissors a little bit, just so that it's you know it's all apart and she doesn't eat the whole thing and it touches everything. Um, I'm using this milk replacer. Um, it's what I'll be giving the puppies um, if I do need to, you know, feed them myself. But she's looking really healthy, so I'm, I'm pretty sure she can do it. And then of course, you know, I always add dine. Um, you know, when when I feel it's necessary, and I've been giving her about, I could say a teaspoon every other day um, in the morning. That's really all she needs because I've been giving her liver like every other day also, you know. There you are. And she's just waiting patiently. So I'm gonna just cut this up. This is what she wants right here, this liver. So I don't know if anybody ever has picky dogs. I know she was picky. Um, she's picky to an extent because if you have an English Bull Terrier, you know they're vacuums. They just eat, eat, eat all day. But um, once you spoil them a little bit, they kind of know what they want. And you know, they'll eat what they don't want only when they're starving, but that's not how I feed my dogs. You know, I, I like to enjoy my food, so. I make sure she enjoys her food as well. Now I'm gonna get one of these cups. I always use filtered water, always filtered or alkaline water, just like myself, human grade everything. I'll get a uh, quarter, a little bit more than a quarter, half tablespoon of the formula. This is just a little bit of water. Like, see how much it is? Probably to right here, you see it? Drop that formula in. Just mix it so it's not chunky. And this is basically all overkill. She'd eat it if I mixed it up just with the liver. But I'm just showing you you know, how I've been taking extra care of her, you know, making sure she has all the nutrients for these puppies. You know, it's really amazing. Um, you know, I can touch her belly and I can feel him kicking and everything. So, you know, I'm putting in all the effort, to make sure this comes out right. Damn, look at that. Now she's gonna love this. It's over. And it is nine o'clock now, so this is her breakfast. Um, 
So it'll look like that. It's just all mixed up. That's the best kibble in the world. Trust. Okay, we're gonna see if you like it, okay? We're gonna see how you like it. They can see you. All right. Good girl. Okay, sit. All right. Hold. As you can see, she loves it. She's a picky eater, but you know, since she eats raw, she does like dog food. Just like if we go to, if I go to my in-laws house and they have a dog, you know, she'll, she'll run in their dog's bowl and eat it up really fast. But, um, but yeah, this is how I've been doing it. Um, it's been working. She's super healthy. Uh, I first uh, left kibble because you know, uh, these dogs, they get like itchy paws and, and irritated skin and break out and stuff. So that's how I, I switched to raw. And it, that's just been the way to go. But uh, I found that this, this dog food works. And I've even used the adult one and it has lamb. And I use that, like say if I'm traveling or she has to go somewhere while I'm, while I'm not home. Um, not everybody is comfortable always feeding raw, especially if they have other dogs. Uh, so, I, so that's what she's been eating and you know, uh, her stools come out solid, no diarrhea, even when I just have to use this and put a little bit of liver or, you know, chop anything up. So some pretty good food I found and I'll keep updating with, updating everybody with how it's going. It's always important, especially when you're feeding raw. Um, I like to always, you know, engage with my dogs. You know, if, if they start to act a little funny, when I do touch them, when I'm feeding, when I'm feeding them that raw meat, what I'll do is I'll start hand feeding it. That that way they only get it out of my hand and they just get honestly more comfortable. That's been the the, the only way I've been able to combat that. I do, I think it's just territorial. But um, I, I, I have kids in the house and it's definitely important that anybody can come up and pet this dog while she, you know, she's in that bowl of liver or anything. Um, even though she's pregnant right now, you know, it's not. And, 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 and dogs um, are pregnant, you know, animals, you know, tend to, to act, you know, not normal um, when they're pregnant. You know, it's, it's just, it's, it's not unacceptable, so. Good girl, good girl, yeah. I touch her right here, I can feel the puppies moving. Yesterday when I gave them uh, some liver, they were moving around like crazy, they love the liver. Yeah, I can feel it right here. Mamas, yes. Enjoy, come on, couple more bites. Go ahead, go ahead, good girl, go ahead. Good job.
So this is a really big uh, female. Um, I haven't honestly, uh, not to brag or anything, seen a female bigger than her um, in person yet or so far. Uh, she's 60, 62, 63 pounds on average uh, before the pregnancy. Um, I will be having, uh, having her weighed again. Um, and when we did go to do her ultrasound, she was at 72 pounds. So we have a lot of weight to lose, but I'm gonna tone it all up. And these are gonna be some healthy puppies. Let's see how many she has. Her mom had nine puppies her first litter, so. I will be keeping everyone updated. As you can see, Hungry Mama devoured the whole bowl. And I probably won't feed her again for another four or five hours. And they say that before they go into labor, they kind of lose their appetite. So I'm, you know, I'm waiting for that to happen. I was talking to my wife about it and it's funny because I've never, you know, seen Maple lose her appetite. So, We'll see if every dog's the same or some dogs are different, but as of now, she's still eating and we're doing uh, frequent potty breaks every four hours. And that's it, it's nap time. Come here, boy. Say goodbye. My mama, good girl. You happy? Happy? Happy dog? Good breakfast? I'm gonna go get you cozy. Let's go.